Since the financial crash of 2008, there has been a revised way of thinking. However, none of that is translated into our governments and our institutions. For the last decade, we've had austerity, privatisation and rampant inequality that's led to the growing discontent with the status quo. All of this is a continuation for the last 40 years of neoliberalism, falling pay, loss of jobs and weak trade unions. Any glimmer of hope was squashed last December with one of the most right-wing governments winning a landslide majority. Inequality has been exacerbated during this pandemic. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos grew his fortune by £53 billion, while others have faced job losses, inadequate support from the government and businesses are forced to close their doors for good. And let's not forget about students. Tuition fees were tripled in 2012, maintenance grants were scrapped in 2016 and now during the coronavirus pandemic students have been forced to pay for accommodation they're being told they can't return to, teaching has been severely disrupted due to lack of face-to-face -face contact and students are left wondering how they will produce degree quality work without access to university resources. This is all without mentioning that GCSE and A-level exams have been cancelled, leaving students concerned about their futures. The coronavirus pandemic has exposed our flawed political and economic system, yet the mainstream media turns a blind eye to the fundamental questions and the huge crises we face. It consistently fails to hold those in power to account, whilst it's quick to shun those that challenge it. All this makes sense when you realise that most of the mainstream media is owned by billionaires and there's an ever-evolving door between the government and the BBC. The mainstream media acts as an arm for the establishment. It's happy to talk about culture wars, but won't talk about economic inequality. Simply put, it protects the interests of the powerful. It's why I set up Turn Left. We need to combat the current narrative of the mainstream media as well as the ever-growing far right. There are other left media outlets out there which we should all support, However, we cannot replace an already homogenous media with the same thing. Instead, we need to build a community. A community of diverse left voices will be help each other grow and change the discourse. There are many left outlets in the US, but not so much here, and we're going to change that. So subscribe to Turn Left, because we need an independent media for independent voices.